How to name covalent compounds. What is a covalent compound? A covalent compound is a compound of two elements that are both nonmetals. The nonmetals can actually be found to the right of the bolded line on the periodic table. The elements that are considered nonmetals are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, ast astatine, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, carbon, silicon, and boron. Here are some easy steps. Let's use this formula as an example. Simply put, it is N2S5, but we're just going to start with N2. As you can see, there is a subscript. And the subscript defines the prefix that will be in the front of the first element. And the element is defined by the letter. And this specific element is nitrogen. On the periodic table, it's number 7. So, if we combine the element nitrogen with its prefix 2, which is also di, you get dinitrogen. Just remember, the prefix for one, or mono, is never put in front of the first element's name if there is no subscript. Remember this and you'll do swell. We will now name the second part of our compound, S5. The S is the symbol for the element sulfur, which is 16 on the periodic table of elements. The prefix for five is penta. Put it together and it's pentasulfur. But we're not done yet. On the end of the last element, you change the ending to ide. So if we put this all together, we get pentasulfide. Put it all together and you get dinitrogen pentasulfide. Here are some practice problems. How well will you do? Try this problem out. If you got dinitrogen hexaoxide, then you're right. How, how about this one? If you got phosphorus trichloride, then you're right. Now try this one. If you said diphosphorus tetrachloride, then you're right. Let's try something different. Try writing the formula for triphosphorus heptahydride. If you wrote P3H7, then you're right. Hope this helped! Thank <laughs> you.